Bordered by the Atlantic Ocean, Guinea-Bissau is a small country in West Africa with an outstanding natural wealth. It has a multitude of ecological sanctuaries. The Bijagos Archipelago, with its 88 islands, is probably the richest in terms of biodiversity. This sanctuary is home to emblematic species such as the West African crocodile and manatee. It is one of the few regions in the world where hippopotamuses have adapted to live in salt and brackish water. Bijagos has also the largest population of wintering migratory shorebirds in West Africa, after Bong Dagan in Mauritania. This archipelago has become an important refuge for many other emblematic animals. This is the case of the green turtle, as the islands of Bijagos are the main nesting site for this species in all of West Africa. About 20 of these islands are occupied by the Bijagos, animist people who are still very dependent on the natural resources of the archipelago and directly contribute to its preservation. In 1996, UNESCO recognised the archipelago as a biosphere reserve. This recognition encouraged the state of Guinea-Bissau to create the Orango National Park and the jean vierre Poilau Islands Marine National Park. It was at this time that Luke Hoffman, founder of the Marva Foundation, discovered the Bijagos Archipelago and the ecological importance it plays in West Africa. This resulted in him helping support the creation of several protected areas. In order to face the great challenges of protecting and safeguarding this exceptional natural heritage, the Guinea-Bissau government created in 2004 IBAP, the Institute of Biodiversity and Protected Areas. IBAP protects and manages the country's biodiversity through the National System of Protected Areas. Today, this network covers more than 26% of Guinea-Bissau's area. In the Bijagos, traditional hunting on a minor scale and bycatch by foreign fleets have caused a decline in the number of green turtles, but these are not the only threats. Coastal erosion is increasingly threatening the nesting sites of this species. Since 2004, the Marva Foundation has been supporting the IBAP, which is monitoring the females on the beaches of the island of Poilau. The data collected is essential for assessing the health of populations and implementing appropriate conservation actions. O objetivo fundamental do IBAP é gerir as áreas protegidas e seguimento das espécies ameaçadas da flora e da fauna em todo o território nacional. Mas também o IBAP está a trabalhar na questão da durabilidade. Por exemplo, as áreas marinhas protegidas da Guiné-Bissau têm a missão de manter o processo biogenético, mas também têm a missão de garantir a segurança alimentar para toda a comunidade. Sustainable fisheries management is one of the priority issues for the Marva Foundation. Fish is crucial basic food and an important economic resource for the Bissau Guineans. To prevent the illegal entry of foreign fishermen into the archipelago, IBAP has set up maritime surveillance. A patrol boat regularly covers the waters of the Orango and Jean Vieira Poilau national parks. IBAP also assists local communities through various projects, highlighting the coexistence between men and nature, which was a very important concept for Luke Hoffman. The Institute takes part, for example, in the restoration of traditional rice fields and their protection against the intrusion of marine hippopotamuses to prevent conflicts. Finally, IBAP invests in the promotion of sustainable tourism in the protected areas to enhance the natural and cultural heritage of the archipelago, while also providing a source of income for its inhabitants. Many of these actions are made possible thanks to the Biogeni Foundation, which is supported by the Marva Foundation. Private and public donations are invested to generate revenues, therefore ensuring a sustainable funding mechanism. To effectively carry out all its various missions, the Marva Foundation has helped convene national and international stakeholders supporting IBAP such as the Government of Guinea-Bissau, the World Bank, the Ramsar International Convention and the European Union. Every day, dozens of women and men work to protect the Bijagos archipelago. 
Safeguarding the Bijagas Islands is key, not only for maintaining the balance of coastal ecosystems in West Africa, but also for the human populations who live there.